what's going on? This is Kyle from Too Much Bricks, and welcome back. So today is a look at the Avengers Tower set number 40334. It has 211 pieces, and this was an exclusive um, set, limited edition, to celebrate the first 10 years of Marvel. It's a really, really interesting, awesome build and set with a very, very cool figure and some cool build techniques. So without further ado, let's get into this set review. Going up from the bottom, you can see it starts off with the Tony Stark fig, which I will give you a closer look at in a minute. And I am in my secondary studio to review this, if you guys haven't already noticed. So up on the top, you have just the normal, you know, regular A cylinder piece that we've gotten in actually the um, Endgame sets. But it's a very, very cool build. you got the mini Quinjet. Let me just take that out of the way for you. So as you can see, it's got really cool profile. It's good sloping techniques and it's pretty pretty big it's not really like a like a small build i mean 211 pieces jam-packed into this is definitely worth it i think so getting up close there is the you know the trademark a obviously on the top so on the back you just have the you know dome sloped pieces rounded to have that cool um, effect it also does have the nice black stand on the bottom flipping it upside down it is rounded so that's definitely very cool. It's got the vent pieces at the very base of the whole thing. You can see you got more grill pieces right here. And to a minifigure scale, you know, it is pretty tall. And yeah, so that really completes it for this cool set review. This exclusive Iron Man figure is definitely, definitely very, very cool. You have just the regular... Uh, Mark 42 actually the helmet, but this suit is actually supposed to represent the Mark 8 when he jumped off the tower and it came on to him. He, he's just holding the helmet through a little clear um, blue cylinder piece. It's not an actual um, head. It's actual just a regular cylinder. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. Taking that away, you could see that this isn't the actual like whole suit. Like he's got one arm with the armor on, one arm doesn't. He's got just a chest plate on. That uh, looks like he just has part of the suit that's coming on to him. The same with um, the printing on the back. And it's definitely some cool printing. You know, you got the red and silver. And you can kind of see, like, how the suit comes together underneath. No leg printing, just regular black legs. Kind of sad about that. Kind of wish Lego would have put some printing on there. But you just have the regular black spiked hair. And the regular new Infinity War and um, Endgame Tony Stark head with the heads-up display. You can also, just like all the other Iron Man sets, put the actual helmet on the figure and then you can just hold the hairpiece which is done in the actual Iron Man Hall of Armors set on this little blue piece if you wanted to. The tower also does have a little section on which Iron Man can stand to have him in a cool display mode. Just taking that off, he just rests on those two studs there. And at the very tip of the tower, if I spin it around, you can see it has that clip right there for the mini Quinjet to be clipped on. And that is just clipped on using a regular clear um, pole piece, just like that. And it is a very, very cool little Quinjet build. I can show you that up close. And you can see it's just got the um, trans blue cheese slope to represent the... Um, dome or the cockpit and also has a little bucket handle to represent some of the flaps underneath just um, uh, clips used to uh, do boosters on some figures you also do have two star lord guns on top i really like the use of these pieces i've been seeing a lot more you also do have them in a lot of them in the royal talon fighter mini um one used as those um flaps so they definitely i think they work um it is an interesting build it doesn't really look like a coin jet it more looks just like a some high-tech jet but i definitely see jet in it that's definitely for sure but i really do like how they ended up going for this you also do have some very very cool building techniques with this for instance you can take this actual section off to reveal how it's made they just have this little section by itself which represents the glass portion of the actual building and they're just held in place by those studs right there, which I think is really, really cool. And then you have the balcony or landing pad for the actual um, jet. But it can actually not really fit, if this will focus, um, with this on. But actually taking it off, it just has one of those 
flat cylinder pieces, it can land right on top. So that really completes it for the whole review of the whole entire thing. I definitely think this was worth getting and it's definitely an awesome promotional set to support Marvel and to honor them for being in business for 10 years. Here's just another view of the set as a whole, and I am back to my normal studio for the final um, little review of this. Definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you found this video helpful. Um, this video is sponsored by Providence Brick Exchange. Um, my, if you guys are local followers, definitely go check out that store called Providence Brick Exchange. My friend Clint, who owns it, thank you so much for helping me out with getting this set and availability to review. So, as I said, this was a limited edition set. But definitely stay tuned for more LEGO videos coming out soon. I have a lot of um, new mocks that I'm working on. My LEGO City update should be coming out again soon. been working on my endgame mocks, some custom figures, and just a lot, a lot of awesome stuff. I also do have uh, my stop motion studio set up. So where I will be doing some Lego stop motions, but I'm still deciding if I'm going to post them or not. Definitely leave in the comment section down below if you'd like to see me do some stop motions or just stick to what I'm doing. Whatever you guys want, that's what I'm going to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Remember, you can never have too much bricks. Happy Halloween and keep building.